So this is not my first pickup truck. It's actually my third. Uh, I used to own a Toyota long bed back in the day. It wasn't an SR5, it wasn't a Tacoma, it was just a old Toyota. And then after that, uh, I owned a Datsun. It was a beater truck. It was a little small truck, had no power, but it had a lot of pickup and go. And then I got married. Then I had kids. Then we moved out to Texas. And I kind of just knew back in the back of my heart that eventually I would get a truck again. And so this is my, my third truck. And this time I got an American car. I got a Ford F-150 because everyone else in Texas had a Ford F-150, so I had to get one too. Uh, but if you were to ask me and say, well, what's your dream car? Like, if you could have any car in the world, what would be your dream car? In your car of cars, ultimate car, right? It would have to be an American muscle car. It would have to be a 1968 Corvette Stingray. Now, I was born in 68, so I'm a little drawn to the, the cars of that year. I love the silhouette of the 60s vet, uh, and I always have, but I know right? I know in the back of my mind, I am never going to get a Corvette Stingray ever in my life. I will never be the owner of a Corvette. And it's because that isn't the life I've chosen. That's not the life I'm living. <laughs> That's just not reality. Okay. And there's a lot of things like that in our life, things that we could want, but we'll never get. And those are things we sometimes pray for. And, you know, God, I want to win the lottery or I want a bigger car or my dream car or my dream house or my dream boat and uh, you know it, we don't always get those things and you could say well you know why not you know the Bible says that if you pray and you say in Jesus name then God will give his children what they desire really does God really give us what we desire does he really give us what we want so let's just say you're a parent okay are you gonna give your kids everything they ask for are you going to give your kids everything they want? No. Why aren't you? Well, because you love them, right? We don't give them everything they want because we love them. It kind of sounds like the opposite of love. It sounds like, well, if I love them, I would give them everything they want, but that's not true. We love them, so we shield them. We love them, so we protect them. We love them, so we create limits and boundaries, and we don't give them everything they want. You know, the Bible refers to God as your father. He is your father in heaven and we are the children. And so God, in his perfect wisdom, he gives us the things that we need. God gives us the things that he deems honorable and just. God gives us the things that are right and true, but they're not always the things that we want. This Sunday at Walden Church, it is Father's Day, but we've changed it to Man's Day. It's gonna be a day where we celebrate manliness and manhood, and there is even gonna be a classic car show in between the services. It's gonna be an awesome time to talk about God's fatherhood and the gifts that he gives his children and the things that he withholds. And uh, I think it's gonna be enlightening, and I'd really love to see you there.